So next, we will discuss second type of immunofluorescence. And the second type of immunofluorescence is indirect immunofluorescence. First, we have discussed direct, now indirect. Uh, what is it? It uses two antibodies. First is unlabeled primary antibody, which specifically bind with the target antigens present in the cells or in the tissues. And then, this is uh, then followed by staining with directly labeled secondary antibody. So, first primary antibody is unlabeled and then we uh, uh, follow this with the labeled secondary antibody which is conjugated with some fluorophore. So, primary, lab primary antibody is unlabeled while secondary uh, antibody is labeled one. So, secondary antibody binds with the primary antibody. Multiple fluorophore bound secondary antibodies may be used for a single primary antibody. And by this way, signal is amplified with increase in the number of fluorophore molecules per antigen. And here, the principle of the indirect immunofluorescence is shown. Here we can see the tissue, the cell at the bottom. Here, different types of proteins in the yellow color, they can be seen, proteins or antigens. And here we can see the blue color primary antibodies, which are unlabeled. And these are stained with then labeled secondary antibodies. And these labeled secondary antibodies can be seen uh, in green color. And these green color labeled secondary antibodies, we can see uh, having, they have red color fluorescein attached with them. So, primary antibodies which are blue in color, they are unlabeled, while secondary antibodies which are green in color, they are labeled with red fluorescein shown here. This indirect immunofluorescence is more complex as compared with the direct staining. Uh, we will see later on that here there, are, there is more incubation steps, there is more washing. So, that's why it is more complex. There is more flexibility as variety of different secondary antibodies can be used to detect a primary antibody. So, we can use more than one secondary antibodies to uh, target one primary antibody. At the same time, it is economical as same secondary antibody can be used for different primary antibodies. Zahre, uski wada se, isme hum kehate hain, ye ek economical point hai, ki hum kai uh, primary antibodies ke liye ek hi jo labeled secondary antibody hoti hai usko use kar sakte hain and here there is problem of cross reactivity which may give false positive results uh, those secondary antibodies uh, which are labeled they can bind with the, uh, its respective primary antibody but at the same time uh, can bind with some other molecules present in the cells or in the tissues at different uh, non-specific sites, so which gives cross reactivity, and uh, these are responsible for false positive results. And it is time consuming as well due to more washing and incubation steps involved. Because this may primary antibody hai, usme bhi hume washing karna padti hai, incubation chahiye hoti hai. Then it is followed by a staining with secondary antibody, usme bhi hume washing or incubation chahi hoti hai. So, that's why it is time consuming as compared with direct immunofluorescence.